Hello, and welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this episode, we will review camera registration in an IDIS NVR. When an IDIS NVR is started for the first time, a setup wizard will run to guide the user through initial setup. This includes the camera registration page. To return to the camera registration page at a later time, simply right-click on the Live View and select Camera Registration. When entering the camera registration page, the NVR will automatically scan the camera network for IDIS Direct IP cameras and will designate new cameras with the blue square. To register Direct IP cameras to the NVR, simply click the Apply button. This is the real benefit of the Direct IP platform in that no IP addressing or camera configuration is required. Direct IP cameras will be configured automatically to ensure the correct stream settings are applied for best results. No further action is required. However, to add third-party cameras to the NVR requires additional steps. Note that all cameras are required to be within the same subnet in order to be used with the IDIS NVR. The most common method for adding third-party cameras is using the ONVIF protocol. However, IDIS does have direct integration with some third-party cameras. The ability to configure an ONVIF camera using the IDIS NVR interface and the features made available by the camera will be dependent on the ONVIF implementation exposed by the camera manufacturer. It is advised that the camera be pre-configured prior to being added to the NVR using the manufacturer-specific tools. This includes configuration of camera streams, motion detection regions, and IP network settings. Click on the Scan button and select Third-Party Scan. Click on the Protocol drop-down to see a list of manufacturers which have a direct integration with IDIS NVRs. This should be your first choice if the camera manufacturer is listed. Note the option for IDIS Protocol. IDIS cameras can operate in two modes, Direct IP and IDIS mode also known as Open IP Mode. The protocol can be changed using the tool icon. Direct IP protocol allows easy camera discovery and configuration without the need for a PC or IP addressing. However, in some cases, it may be preferable to change the camera to IDIS Mode. IDIS Mode will also enable the ONVIF protocol in IDIS cameras. For all other third-party cameras, select ONVIF Conformance. IDIS NVRs feature a separate network interface for the camera network. Click on the Advanced Setup button to reveal the setup page for the network interface. By default, this interface is configured for link local addressing. This is the simplest method of camera discovery. However, not all cameras will support this feature. The network interface may also be configured as a DHCP client or even a DHCP server, or you may assign a manual IP address. Note that all cameras must be on the same subnet. After correctly configuring the network interface, we can now attempt to discover and register cameras using the ONVIF protocol. The Mode drop-down selects between Auto Scan and Manual IP Address Scan. If the camera supports link local addresses or there is a DHCP server on the camera network, you can try to discover the camera via the Auto Scan feature. Alternatively, you will need to know the IP address of the camera using the IP Address Scan option. Enter the specific IP address of the camera or click on the tilde button to enter an IP address range to scan. Click the Scan button to begin the camera discovery scan. Discovered cameras will appear in the camera list. Click the Close button to exit scan mode. 
Any discovered cameras may be added to the NVR either by drag and drop to an available camera pane or by right clicking on the camera and selecting Add Camera. Check the stream settings reported here are correct and in agreement with the stream settings you configured using the manufacturer's utility. Also check the record profile assignment settings. This is important to ensure you select the correct profiles when defining the recording schedule for these cameras. Click on the Record Settings button, followed by Schedule, and ensure the recording schedule contains the correct recording profiles for the camera. It is recommended to fully test the operation and available features of any third-party cameras as full compatibility cannot be guaranteed. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and please see our other videos for more information on IDIS products.